This? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's the best cake mm. ever. Mm. Mm. Where did it mm. even come from? Don't overthink it. Mm. Yeah, don't question cake. Mm. Oh. Mm. Do you guys hear a whistling sound? Don't overthink it. Yeah, don't question sounds. Huh? <laughs> Who knows what day it is? Oh, no. Please don't tell me it's Hank's birthday. It's my birthday, 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 it's my birthday. Every year for his birthday, Hank asks for the same thing. He asks us to help him make his very own episode of his all-time favorite show, Bongo and McGillicuddy. And every year we say no. It's not like we like telling our friend he can't have what he wants. But there is no way that we're acting out one of his little scripts on camera, uh-uh, no. It could ruin our super professional image. <laughs> hey, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday! And that means it's showtime! It is not showtime. You can't make people do things just because it's your birthday. Yeah, plus we have a ton of deadlines this week. We can't take an entire day to help you with your little skit. Well, sorry. It's just that ever since I was a little, little boy, I just always wanted to make my own episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy. <sighs> sorry, though, I... I didn't mean to take up everyone's valuable time with my stupid, dumb, lame little dream. <laughs> Even though you ate my cake. My birthday cake? <laughs> okay, fine, I'll be in it. Really? But I'll have to move some things around in my schedule, so let me just call my agent. Thanks, Angela. Ooh, you can play the grizzled old police chief. How fast can you grow a mustache? Wait, what? Well, I guess it is your birthday, and we did eat your cake. <sighs> So I suppose I could play a minor character. Yes! You could play McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy is Bongo's orangutan sidekick. And you won't have many lines, because he's one of those non-talking orangutans. Actually, Hank, all orangutans are non-talking orangutans, because orangutans can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe the jokes for the blooper reel, buddy. You know, I'm actually somewhat of a thespian, so I wouldn't mind sinking my acting chops into a new project. Hooray! That just leaves. Hmm. Let me think about it. Hmm. No. I'm good. Uh... <sighs> Goodbye, Bongo. It's okay, Hank. I'll play your lead. I shall be your Bongo. And guess what? I'll do it better than Tom ever could. All righty, then. Excuse me? Oh, it's nothing personal, Tom. It's just that some of us are... How should I say? More naturally talented at the arts than... Oh, how should I say? Others of us. I'm saying I'm better than you. Than you I know what you're saying, Ginger. Hank, I want that part. Ooh, ha ha. It's audition time. I didn't know Tom knew ballet. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about Tom. Really? Like what? Well, uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Uh, that's it, actually. Just the ballet thing. Tom's kind of an open book, I guess. Whew. <sighs> All right, so what's it gonna be, Hank? Did I get the part? To Tom or not to Tom? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the garage to choose the talented actor Ginger or... Quit it, Ginger. The audition is over. Enough! It's just too hard to choose. You're both simply fantastic. Tub, I'm sorry. 
Sorry I had to use such a cliché misdirected before telling you that you've got the part! Yes! <laughs> Are you serious right now? Sorry, Ginger, but Bongo is a hard-boiled street mm -hmm. cop who plays by his own rules. Mm -hmm. You're just a kid, so... What? I lost a part because I'm a kid? <laughs> Angela's playing an old police chief! Oh, you don't think a girl can be a police chief? She doesn't even have a mustache! Thank you for understanding. But you know what I do need? An assistant. A right-hand man. Someone to help me out with all the most important parts of directing a big show. Like bringing me a coffee. <sighs> and I like a lot of milk, kid. Okay, but I'm going to spit at it. Huh? Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Bongo and McKillicuddy, take one. And action. <laughs> Cut! 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 I know, right? Ben totally huh? bungled that last line. No, Ben was perfect! When I asked you for coffee, I meant I wanted it today! <gasps> what, are you raising the beans and then milking them yourself? I don't think Hank knows where coffee comes from. Here's your coffee, sir! <laughs> oh, that's disgusting! <laughs> this coffee still tastes like coffee! I told you more milk! More milk! More milk! How about I just bring you a glass of milk? <gasps> Ginger, I know you're doing your best, but can you explain something to me? Sure. Why isn't there a stapler on the chief's desk? Have you ever seen a police chief who doesn't have a stapler on his desk? Uh, you know what? Everyone take five. <gasps> oh, you're so mean. <laughs> I didn't know Hank would be taking this so seriously. The question is, why aren't you taking it more seriously? Break's over, let's take it from the top. And get it right this time. Amateurs, lights, camera, action! That's it, Bongo, Miguel Cuddy, in my office now. <laughs> this is the last straw. You are done in this department. Turn in your badges. <laughs> Come on, Chief, be reasonable. <laughs> McGillicuddy is right. Dr. Jerkface was a bad guy. Remember what he did in season one? Episode 16? <laughs> yeah, that was really messed up. He got what he deserved. You karate kicked him into a volcano, Bongo! That's not protocol! A lot of things aren't protocol. Oh, yeah, oh, oh I, I, I'm... <laughs> You watch your language when you're talking to me, McGillicuddy. Badges. Now. <laughs> you know what, Chief? Fine. Did I karate kick a bad guy into a volcano? Yes. Did it look wicked cool? Guilty. But do I regret it? Not for a second. So you can take our badges, you can take our uniforms, you can even take our cool car with the lights on top that go whoop whoo! But there's one thing that you can never take, Chief. Our liberty! Yeah! Oh, I mean... Add cut! Okay, that was interesting. Now, does anybody want to tell me what went wrong with that seat? Whew! I thought it was pretty good. Well, I know I nailed it. What about you, Ben? I don't know. You don't know? You mean like you don't know your lines? You said ah oo oo ah ee oo ah ha ee ee. Yeah. What does the script say? <sighs> exactly. You dropped a. <clears throat> you ruined the scene. I thought we were making fan fiction. I wasn't aware we were making garbage. <laughs> Thanks for ruining my birthday. Hmm. Now I'm glad I ate his cake. Huge mistake! This was supposed to be fun, but I took things too far. I made it a chore. I made everyone feel bad. And that's the worst part. Wow. I learned so much from Bongo and McGillicuddy. This is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy where Bongo had to watch his favorite TV show to realize he made a mistake. Bongo took something that was supposed to be fun and turned it into a chore. And that's just what I did. Now I have to do what Bago did. Make it right.
and so in my own small bongo-ish way, I stand here before you, hoping to make things right. Well, lesson learned. You know, some people are TV makers, and some people are TV watchers. Oh. <laughs> Classic Tom, <laughs> always with the jokes. <sighs> okay, catch you guys later. Uh, where are you going? I'm gonna get started on next year's script, but first, I'm gonna eat a piece of my birthday. Oh! oh. oh. Happy birthday! We are doing this. Okay, sure, let's do it. Roger, Black Hat, I've got a view of the area. Boom! We are doing this. Okay, sure, let's do it. Roger, Black Hat, I've got a view of the area. Boom! 